Hello everyone, I am Shada Shara and welcome to Shada Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn types of drivers in JDBC, Java Database Connectivity. First of all, I am going to discuss about what is the JDBC. JDBC driver implements the defined interfaces in the JDBC API for interacting with a with our database server. For example, using the JDBC driver enables you to open a database connection and you to interact with interact with by it by sending SQL or a database commands, uh, then receiving a results with a Java. The Java.SQL packages that ships with a JDK contains a various classes with their behaviors defined and their actual implementations are done in the third party drivers. Third party vendors implement the Java.SQL driver interfaces in their database drivers. Next, I am going to discuss about types of uh, JDBC drivers. JDBC driver implementations vary, be, vary because of the wide variety of uh, operating systems on the hardware platforms in which Java operates. Sun have divided the implementation types into a four categories. There is a type 1, type 2, type 3 and a type 4 which is ex explained in this slide. Now JDBC ODBC driver is also known as a type 1 driver. In a type 1 driver, a JDBC driver is used to access a ODBC drivers installed on each client machine using the ODBC requires a configurations on your systems, a data source names and represents the target database. The next one is a negative API partially Java driver. It is also a type 2 driver. JDBC API calls are converted into a negative C or C++ API calls which are unique to a database. These drivers are typically provided by a database vendors and used, to, used in the same manager, ma manner as the JDBC ODBC bridge. The vendor specific drivers must be installed on each client mission. The next one is a JDBC net pure Java driver. It is also known as a type 3 driver. A three tier approach is used to access the database. The JDBC clients use it to standard network sockets to communicate with a middleware application servers. The socket information is then translated by a middleware application servers into a call format required by a DBMS and forwarded to a database servers. The next one is negative protocol pure Java driver. It is also known as the type 4 driver. A pure Java based driver communicates directly with a vendor databases through a socket connections. This is the highest performance driver available for a database and it is usually provided by a vendor itself. Next, I am going to discuss deeply about all these type of drivers. First, I am going to discuss about type 1 driver. It is a JDBC ODBC bridge driver. In the type 1 driver, a JDBC bridge is used to access the ODBC drivers installed on each client mission. Using the ODBC requires a configuration on your systems, a data source name DSN that represents the target database. When Java first came out, this was a useful driver because most databases only supports the ODBC access, but now this type of drivers recommended only for experimental use or when no other alternative is available. The JDBC ODBC bridge that comes with the JDK 1.2 is a good example for the kind of uh, drivers. If you see here the Java application, the application code is here. The application is interacting with the type 1 driver, JDBC ODBC bridge driver. This JDBC ODBC bridge driver is interacting with the ODBC drivers. This ODBC drivers are interactive with the database vendor, that particular database vendor, and it connects to the local database management system. Next, I am going to discuss about type 2 driver, that is JDBC native API. In the type 2 driver, JDBC API calls are converted into a negative native C or C++ API calls, which are unique to the database. These drivers are typically provided by the database vendors and used in the same manner as a JDBC driver bridge. 
the vendor specific drivers must be installed on each client mission if we change the database we have to change the native api as it's specific to the database and they are mostly absolute now but you may realize some speed increases with the type 2 driver because it estimates the odbc driver ahead the oracle call interface oci driver as an example of the type 2 driver if you see this type 2 driver in this type 2 driver this is the java application the java application is interacted with the type 2 driver native api this application directly interact with the database vendor in the mediator there is no odbc drivers if you see the type 1 driver in the mediator odbc driver is there if coming to the type 2 driver there is no interact mediator odbc driver is not there is no mediator it's a directly java application interacted with the database vendor driver that's why it is a little bit speed compared to the type 1 driver and database vendor driver is directly interacted with the database management system and does the whatever you want the operations in the code operations next i'm going to discuss about type 3 jdbc net pure java driver in the type 3 driver a three tier approach is used to access the database the jdbc clients use the standard network sockets to communicate with the middleware application servers the socket information in then translated by the middleware application servers into the calls format required by the dba database management systems and forwarded to the database server this kind of uh, diverse is extremely flexible since it requires no code installable installed on the client and a single driver can actually provides an access to a multiple databases you can think of this application servers as a jdbc proxy meaning that it makes a calls for that client applications as a result you need some knowledge of that application server configurations in order to efficiently use this driver types your application servers might use a type 1 or type 2 or type 4 drivers to communicate with the database understanding the nuisance will provides and helpful nonsense will be proved and helpful if you see this type 4 driver in this type 4 driver it is a local computer in this local computer i am running the java application the code is interacting with the type 3 driver that is the net pure java driver this application that uh, type 3 driver is interacted with the any one of this driver it may be a type 1 driver it may be a jdbc type 2 driver it may be a jdbc type, type 4 driver it interacted with any of the type driver any of the three drivers maybe one two or four and these drivers are communicating with the database server this is called this type of drivers is the net pure driver next i am going to discuss about a type 4 driver it is a hundred percent pure java driver in the type 4 driver a pure java based driver communicates directly with the vendor database through a socket connection this is the highest performance driver available in the database and it is usually provides by the vendor itself this kind of drivers is extremely flexible you don't need to install a special softwares on the clients or servers further these drivers can be downloaded dynamically for example mysql connector slash j driver is the type 4 driver because of the proprietary nature of their network protocols and the database vendors usually supports the type 4 drivers if you are coming to the oracle the OJ, uh, ojdbc4 uh, driver it is the jar which is used to interact with the oracle database next i am going to discuss about which drivers should be used it is if you are accessing one type of a database such as oracle or sybase or ibm the preferred driver is the type 4 driver if if your java application is accessing the multiple java or a databases at the same time type 3 is a preferred driver type 2 driver as useful on situations in situations where a type 3 or type 4 drivers is not available at for your database 
and the type 1 driver is not considered a deployment level driver and is typically used for development and testing purposes only. It's not useful for the, the uh, deployment in the production, all those things. It is only useful for the testing and testing in the used for the type 1 drivers. The most preferable driver is the type 4 driver. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget to subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.